Okay. <clears throat> so uh, in the previous session, we had completed a couple of topics. Just quickly, let's go through them. We talked about the concept of management, where uh, I gave you the definition and we told you that there are uh, three parts to it, three dimensions, you can say, three elements. Uh, first is process, second is effectiveness, effectiveness, and third is efficiency. Okay. After this, we talked about the various features or characteristics of management. Then we talked about the objectives. Then I also talked about the significance or the importance. And one thing what I told you, very important, was the nature. Now the nature, we talked about management as a science. We talked about management as an art. We talked about management as both science and art and we talked about management as a profession. Right? So this is what we talked about. Now, I start with my next topic and my next topic in this chapter is functions of management. Before this, there is levels of management. I will do it after functions because functions I need to explain before so that the levels you will be able to understand very clearly. So let's start with the functions children. Okay. Functions of management. Okay. In an organization, uh, in a business or if you also want to, um, okay you want to uh, take benefit of this uh, class. So what you will do? First you will plan, you will decide for yourself when you want to start, right? Suppose you want to, uh, you know, when everybody goes out to sleep in the afternoon, you want to do the video that time, you want to see the video that time, or you want to do it late in the evening, choice is yours. So the first thing what you will do is, you will decide when to now this decision maybe you could do it in the morning because you have other couple of things lined up you have a, a tuition to go for you have a, a, a maybe a friend to meet you have to go there or there is a ailing relative you want to go there and just catch up on it or maybe you want to go to buy your books or whatever so you will decide in the morning only what you have to do at what time that's called deciding and here I am going to give you a word. Check for your NCRD. Okay, now let's follow the NCRD. The first function is to plan. Right? And what is planning? Planning is forecasting. This is the uh, value word. Whenever you have to write the meaning of planning, you will use the word forecast. Or suppose you get a board question uh, where it says that uh, mm, the organization has forecasted that uh, there is going to be a, a flood because it had happened last year. So it's going to, it might, uh, the flood might come or uh, maybe it's forecasted that uh, the demand might increase. So identify the function of management. And the function of management is planning. Now, so that is called forecasting. Clearly here, yeah? word very important. Second, now after you have planned, you made your plans that yes, now I want to study. So suppose you plan to study between 3 to 4 uh, in the afternoon. So around 2.30, quarter to 3, what you will do is you will First of all, take out your NCRT, you will take out the register, a pen and you will organize your study table, you will set your mobile and then you start. So basically what are you doing? You are collecting all your resources to actually, now this is your goal, right? So to achieve that goal, you will collect your resources. Collection of resources, children, is called organizing uh, okay let's talk about first only organize so you're basically organizing yourself you're organizing all your resources if you remember 
in class 11 we told you that there are three types of resources just a recapitulation of that we talked about four m's m m m for man m for money m for material and m for machine right clear so man will become your human resource very good money will become your capital so it will be your financial resource wonderful and these two put together will be called your physical resource these are the three resources right so in this we will start organizing this i'll apply for loans the organization will apply for loans seventh chapter issue of shares debentures and you will uh, place your orders for your machinery and raw material and now the man now you will also start thinking how many people you require right so now you are putting your uh, plan into action if i am talking about your plan of study so you don't need any man you don't you need finance you don't take money from your mother to buy your new register you take money to buy your uh, ncrt and uh, your uh, pencils and your, your your stationery now material and machine machine will be your mobile you will arrange suppose your mobile is not working so you switch on the laptop you will ask daddy not to take the laptop to the office you will use that and raw material you will need all your sheets maybe uh, i sent you an assignment you would want that assignment also in front of you so you will start organizing yourself ok this is organized after organize if it is an organization if they are uh, if the organization plans here that uh, they are forecasting there is going to be an increase in demand so obviously there will be an increase in production if there is going to increase in production they will plan what other resources they want so they would want man also if you are increasing production you would want man who is going to put the who is going to do the production for you put the plan into action right so the next step will be to start appointing people you will start appointing people who are going to use these resources and help you to achieve this plan so you will start appointing people that is called staff right ok the fourth is now this is there this is there this is there I want to draw your attention to one small thing you remember yesterday uh, in the last class last class we talked about the features and I talked about a third feature management is multi-dimensional remember and I said that it is consisting of three parts work people and operations right work people and operations Clear to you? Absolutely. Now, work will mean to put the plan into action. People will mean to appoint people, take care of them, and operations will mean to, you know, start the uh, production process. Clear to you? Okay. Let's come back to this. Plan. Work. Organize. Work. Staff. People. Clear to you? Absolutely. Now. So this is people. Now when your people are here, operations, they have to put the plans into action. So we will give them instructions. We will give them instructions to put the plans into action. Right? These instructions is called directing or direction. Right? The director in the movie, he is the one who tells the actors, you know, how they have to perform, what dialogues they have to speak, how they have to speak. So they are called the directors. So the word directing, to tell them. And the last, if you remember, I talked about a word called analysis. I said you have to analyze your work to see whether your final result matches your planned uh, output. See, you plan a target. And now you want to see whether 
Like I'll give you an example. If you're sitting and studying, right? If you're sitting and studying and uh, you saw the video, you took out an assignment, you took out the NCRT and you read through. After one hour or one and a half hours, okay, three to four. So after four o'clock, you will sit back, shut the video, everything you will shut, and you will sit back and try to recall what you've learned, what you've studied, what you have understood. Now, if there is some concept which you've not understood, you will again go back to the video and you will again open your NCRT and check where, what mistake you are making. Now, that recapitulation, that analysis which you are doing, whether you are able to understand what you had planned in the morning, you had planned that I'll finish up this much. Now, am I able to finish it or not? That analysis is called general control. Right? So children, there are five functions of management which I am talking about right now. Planning, which is forecasting. Then we have organizing. Then we have staffing. Then we have directing. And then we have controlling. Clear to you? Absolutely. Now, I am erasing this because I have to give you the value words. Now, the key words I am going to talk about right now for all these five functions because that's the identification question you can get in your board exam. Let's start with planning. So, planning, I gave you the word. For planning, the word is, yes, correct, forecasting. Clear to here? Now let's talk about organizing. What is organizing? I told you, you organize your resources. In an organization, so well, let's talk about uh, um, your father, your father's business and uh, your father wants to increase the demand. The demand has increased so he has to increase the production. Children, when the production increases, obviously the resources will increase. The manpower will increase, the capital will increase, what about the marketing activities, they will increase, the selling function, selling function will increase, advertising will increase, so everything related to will increase, right, clear, now I come to another point, one person is not able to take care of all these activities, production, he has to see the packaging, then he has to see the demand, he has to then see the advertising, then he has to see the uh, sales, how to increase the sales, you have to think about all those techniques and the various ways through which he can increase the sales. So one person cannot do. So in a large organization, each fun for each such activity, a department is created and you have one person to look after that department, right? So in organizing, we are going to create departments. Clear to here? So, departments will be created. Departments will be created. And in this only, we are going to decide in departments, when we create departments, we will decide in this department who will be the manager, who will be his junior, who will be his senior, who has to report to whom, and who, who will take orders from whom. Like, for example, uh, let's come here. Suppose uh, this is your father's organization, your father is the CEO of the company. Now your father has created three departments, production, finance and marketing. Suppose only three departments he's created, right? So under production department, he appoint one production manager, right? And then he has to decide how many people he requires to work under the production manager how big a team he wants, depending on the quantity of the work. If the work is more, he might have more people, right? So, it has to be decided who is going to take orders from whom and whom they have to report, right? So, all this will come under organizing. Then we just, uh, in the organization, the big bosses, we just frame that, make the departments, decide who is going to get the decision-making power, and how much decision making power they will get, 
how much decision making power they will get and who has to report to which individual right so the reporting part now the third is now of course i will need more employees because my production is going to increase so i am going to staff the function is called staffing where we are talking about placing the right person right person with the right skill with right skill clear to you what i mean to this by this is suppose i am a business studies teacher and uh, i get a job uh, somewhere uh, to obviously i can only teach business studies i cannot teach any other subject so if i am asked to teach another subject what will happen neither will you be able to understand what i am saying nor will i be able to make you understand the subject or the chapter or the topic whatever so basically i should be given a job for which i am trained i am eligible i am skillful i am qualified this is called praising the right person with the right skill this is staff right now after these people have joined it we will tell them directing we will provide them with instructions now while doing the job they might get bored so we will give them incentives we will more give them uh, motivation right and we will tell them communicate to them our plans communicate to them what we have to do right and the last again that analysis part which is called controlling where i will match controlling is matching whether the actual performance actual performance means after directing whatever you have achieved actual performance is equal to the planned performance that means if i have planned that in 3 to 4 timing i will finish half a chapter now i will see how much have i finished why should we do this see if you have not finished half if you have not finished half and you have a test after four days how will you appear you will not be able to do so you have to see that whatever you have planned you should achieve if you are falling short you will note down why you will note down the reasons and then you will take action so that because of those reasons you do not miss you are able to achieve what you have decided is that clear these are the five functions of management and these five functions if i come to multi dimensional so work is planning and organizing people is staffing and operations is directing and controlling so these are the five functions which i have talked about in multi dimensional absolutely clear five functions done planning now the order should be remembered planning organizing staffing directing and controlling fine so this is the order you will learn them oh okay. let's move forward and i come to the topic levels of management what do i mean by levels of management your father is working as a managing director in a company my my father retires as a uh, let's say a, a manager finance manager in a company right and i am uh, working as a supervisor in a company see those designations now these designations are according to the levels so in an organization there are three levels three levels the first level is called the top level the second level is called the middle level and the third is called the lower level right clear to you now there are different designations for different levels a board question what will it ask in a board question you can get to identify the level you can get to identify the function right now how it will be done i'll give you one small example first let's uh, talk about the top level top level 
all your CEOs, Chief Executive Officer, your COO, your Managing Directors, your Presidents, not the President of India, not the President of India, but the President of the company. Now he could uh, be the President Finance, he could be the President Marketing, so President, Vice President, yes there are Vice Presidents also. Then you have your Board of Directors. So these are all the designations for top level. Clear? Let's move on to the middle. Then I'll come for an exam. So question. Middle level. You have all your managers. Now what managers? Production manager, finance manager, marketing manager, sales manager, maybe the legal manager, advertising manager. All these will come here. Right? Let's come to the lower level. The lower level will have designations like supervisor, superintendent, clerks. In production we have foremen. Now these are the designations. Why did I talk about these de designations? One of the board exams there was a question. Your grandfather retires as a managing director of a company. Your grandfather retires as a managing director of a company. Question 1. At which level of management was he working? Managing director, top level. Right? Clear? This is the significance of this. Now, another aspect to this is the functions performed by these three. See, these are the functions of management. Right? These are the functions done by each level of management. I agree. These functions every level will perform. I agree with you. Whatever you are saying and thinking, it's correct. That these functions will be performed here by each level, all the five. But, you know, the, uh, the work will differ. I'll give an example. Let's talk about top level. What will he plan? He will plan the main target of the organization. He will plan how to take care of the employees of the organization. He will plan that all the resources and the work environment is good. He will plan what type of contracts he has to get, what type of business he has to get. He will pl plan from where to get, how to build a goodwill, a goodwill or a good reputation of the company in the outside world. Right? So he's going to do that plan. But what will a middle level manager plan? Middle level manager will plan, yes, he will plan the department's work. A production manager, he will plan how much to produce in a day or how much to produce in a week. What will be the target? The finance manager will plan where the money has to be invested in the organization, right? So, and what will the lower level uh, supervisor plan? The supervisor will plan how much work he has to get done from his uh, juniors on a particular day. Suppose the production manager has told him that within, by the end of this week he wants 20 pieces ready and packed. I am talking about production. He plans that he wants 20 pieces packed and ready for production. This man, the supervisor, will then work out, will plan how much does that come to per day. And then he will plan which worker, what type of job he has to do. And remember, the workers will be here. Now one question which is crossing your minds, I agree, that why does not the workers have a level? Workers are those people who are going to put all these plans into action. See, he will plan, he will not work. He will plan, he will not work. He will plan, he will not work. Work is done by these people. Management is the process of getting work done. So they will all be performing these five functions of management. Agreed? So let's start. Planning I talked about, let's talk about organizing. He will organize the mission, uh, he will organize the work area, he will organize the entire organization, whatever they require. Individually, they will organize for their department. Production manager, he will look after the resources. 
from where to place the orders so that there is no shortfall. He will plan that. But what will be a supervisor plan? The, uh, that the resources are sufficient in the stock room, the, uh, the raw material room, the store room, um, the, uh, the machinery which they require is in perfect condition. The uh, oiling of the machine, the oils are there. Suppose to repair the machine, you need the hammers, you need the spanners, and to work on the machine, you need those nuts and bolts. So he will plan everything and keep that stock. So that is organizing. Next comes the staffing. Top level will appoint the middle level. The middle level appoints the lower. The lower will appoint the worker. So staffing. Directive. He will tell the middle level what uh, the directions that yes, I want this work to be done. And for this, I'm giving you these resources. So he'll tell them the work. He will tell the targets to him. Now he will tell him the main target. He will tell the individual department target. He will get the work done from him. Right? And the last is controlling. After the work is done, on a daily basis, he will analyze. On a weekly basis, because he wants a report weekly, he will analyze. And then uh, after the weekly basis report, he will submit it to him, who will do the analysis and the decision making of the entire organization. Clear to you? So functions. Now, your grandfather retired as a managing director of a company. First part of the question A, at which level was he working and B, explain any five functions he was performing or any four functions. So, you will write top level and write the functions. Now, the, for the functions, the top level is performing, he is uh, making the main plans, he is designing the policies of the organization, he is thinking about the welfare of the organization, he is trying to maintain a goodwill of the organization in the outside world. He will try to build good relations with all the government organizations and the government agency. Clear? And he will do the appointment of the middle level. Then comes the middle level. They will make plans and policies for the department. They will see that the resources are there. They will do the appointment of the lower levels. They will see that the working conditions are in order. They will see whatever the targets have been made. If those targets are being achieved or not. If there is any deficiency, why? And they will try to rectify. What will the lower level do? The lower level's functions, they will appoint the workers. Besides that, they will plan how much work has to be done on a regular basis. And for that, resources, the stock, how much is required to place the orders, all those jobs. So I finished levels also. Fine? Absolutely. Now let's move on to the next topic. The next topic, children, is coordination. Coordination. I just draw a diagram. So this is your CEO. This is your production department, this is your finance department, and this is your marketing department. Clear to them? So, if I have a production manager here, I have a finance manager here, I have a marketing manager here. Children, so this is top level, this is middle level. Right? Now, under the production manager, I need, let's say, three people. One is the raw material officer, or maybe the clerk, then you have the packaging clerk, and then you have the shipment clerk. So, this all will be the lower level. Fine? Okay. What do you mean by the word coordination? Anybody? Right. Coordination, you will say that it is basically uh, the effort which everybody is putting in to get the work done and what is coordination? Coordination is that it moves in a particular manner. I give an example. Um, you are organizing, there is a wedding in your family, there is a wedding in your family and nowadays there is a fashion to have a dance performance. So, of the, so you organize a dance performance of all the brothers, all the brothers from the youngest to the eldest. All the brothers are dancing and you are uh, doing the choreography, you teaching them the steps. What will you say? 
everybody on this beat will move put their left foot forward on the third beat they will put the right foot forward the hands will left hand will go up on this beat the right hand will go up on this beat now these are the instructions which you will give and sitting there right across you will see that everybody's right hand moves at the same beat right this type of sequence which you are maintaining keeping in mind the time that everybody is performing the same action at the same time yes is called coordination coordination is nothing but something which take an, an arrangement of activities which take place in a time and sequence just check your ncrt on uh, on the topic coordination the topic coordination move to the second column and if you go down in the page somewhere towards the end you will find these words synchronization then a little lower two three lines down you will find two words time and sequence actually these are the three key words to identify coordination clear so coordination is nothing but synchronization that in a chronological order according to the time you frame a sequence right so just come back to this what is coordination in this organization if the production manager produces on time then only the marketing manager can sell and if the marketing manager is able to sell on time he will sell on credit those debtors will be able to give the money to the finance so the capital will come in and with that capital the next resources can be bought clear so this sequence and timing between them is called coordination and who maintains this sequence these people are working he is taking the major decision so it's the managers who are going to do this that they are able to maintain a time and a sequence to get the work done clear to you so children this is coordination but this is slightly different from cooperation can anybody tell me what is cooperation yes cooperation is when everybody puts their efforts together so listen cooperation will be within the department that they all work together to cooperate so that the goal which the manager has given is achieved clear to you right you have the workers here no the workers now these workers they all will get work done from these workers so that this person is able to uh, will be able to get the entire production on time so this effort which everybody is putting in here is called cooperation but this function which he is doing in time and sequence with the other departments is called coordination this is the slight difference clear to you between coordination and cooperation okay something i would like to draw your attention to we just not talked about the functions of management namely yes planning correct organizing very good staffing absolutely fine directing and control right planning he will make the main plan for the organization he will make the plan for the department and he will make the plan on a daily basis which the work he has to get done from the workers right so how will you have coordination in planning that the main plan the small plans should be equal to the main plan right so this is coordination in planning same is organizing you are organizing different departments now he has organized these now this man will organize these so all these departments efforts should be equal to this and individually of every department should be equal to the main so in organizing what we have to see is that the departments are there and then the decision making which we are giving to them i talked about authority i told you decision making part yes and who has to report to who so there should be if i talk about decision making given to him him and him they all should be equal to what he has got from the top level right 
Okay, so there should be coordination between the, uh, the decision making power and the job which he is doing. Starting, I told you what, placing the right person at the right job, yes. So there should be coordination between the skill and the job he is doing. Here coordination is between the decision making power and the job which he is doing. What I need to say here is that the job which he has given to do, he should get the decision making power for that because or else he will keep troubling his manager if he does not have any decision making power. And planning will be coordination between the main plan and the sub plan. Sub plan means the plans made by these people. Okay, directing. I just not told you when I was uh, talking about the functions, I said that directing means you have to give instructions and then you have to give them incentives to motivate them. So the instructions which we are giving, the motivation or the incentives which we are giving or whatever plans we are telling them, communicating them, there should be coordination between them. And the last is, what did I tell you in controlling? Planned target should be equal to the actual. So there should be a coordination between the planned performance and the actual performance, right? And this children is called essence of coordination, right? Clearly up? A five marker question. Okay, let's move on to the features and the importance of coordination and that's the end of the chapter, chapter one. Okay, now let's talk about uh, the first uh, topic we talk about is uh, features, right? And let's start with the first feature. And the first feature says, integrates employees' efforts. Integrates employees' efforts. Let's come back to this. Let's come back to this. What is this man doing? What is he doing? He is integrating. Integrating means combining together. All these people are ready to work. So with the sequence which he is setting and the timing he is giving between each worker and each super lower level people, the timing and the sequence he is telling him, he is trying to collect all their efforts so that the timing can be maintained, the sequence can be maintained and the work can be done. Clear? Okay. The second is unity in action. What is the meaning of the word unity? Unity means one, right? Now this one I am going to use as single. Single in action. What does this mean? They all have one common target, one single target. So he will uh, see coordination basically helps in combining their efforts, first point, so that of all those people who have one single target to achieve. They have one single target, so their efforts will be directed, moved. They are moving in one common direction. They are all performing one single action. Understood? Okay. The third point here is pervasive. Yes. What is the meaning of pervasive? Absolutely correct. Universally applicable. See? It is universally applicable. At every level, every organization, whether the organization is small, it is big, you are sitting at your study table, your uh, father's organization or a very big organization like Tata's, everybody has coordination at every level, pervasive. Then the fourth is continuous. Continuous, exactly same thing that uh, after it is a continuous process, one, one sequence is over, one uh, product is over, then you move on to the next, you move on to the third. So as long as the planning, organizing uh, will keep on going on and on and on till the goals are achieved. Once the goals are achieved, then we move on to the next goal for the next session or maybe next year or maybe next month or whatever. So it keeps on going. So it is a continuous process. Then the fifth point says it is a deliberate function. Absolutely, it is a deliberate function because the manager has to perform this function. See, if, uh, without this function, the goal will not be achieved. If suppose you just sit there and you ask your cousins, okay, start dancing. 
no, no, you move your left leg, no, no, you're moving your right leg. Do you think the work will be done? You'll have to actually tell them everything. You have to sit with them and guide them and instruct them and keep telling them where they're going wrong and to keep on taking their practices, right? So it is basically your deliberate function which you're doing, right? So it's a deliberate function. And the last is, it is the responsibility of all managers. Exactly. Only these managers are going to do. Because these people are working. They are getting the work done. These people, after this department's function is over, he will move on to this. From this, the money will come here. So it is the responsibility of every manager. Features over. Let's come to the importance of coordination. Importance of coordination and the first point under importance is growth in size. Growth in size. What do I mean by growth in size? You remember I talked about objectives and I said survival, profit and growth. And what are the indicators of growth? Increase in demand. The increase in demand will lead to increase in production. Increase in production will lead to increase in employees. So basically suppose... I have to, my production is increasing. So I need another department, let's say advertising. I need another department who is going to check my quality so that I do not send any bad quality to my customers. Right? So as and when the work increases, there is growth in the organization, the employees will increase, the departments will increase. So the more the department, more is the coordination required. Right? Okay. The second is functional differentiation. Right? Functional differentiation. Now this means that in an organization, different functions are being performed. These are the functions children. These planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling are functions of management. But in an organization, what functions are being performed? Means what work is being done? Production is being done, finance is being done, quality control is being done, marketing is being done, advertising. These are the various functions of management. The more the different functions you have, the more is the coordination you require. Okay, give you an example. You are studying five subjects. You need a coordination in five. Suppose you have another two more to appear. So you have seven subjects. So the coordination you'll require will be more because now there are more subjects. So same way, more functions, more coordination. Now the last is specialization. Specialization. Now what is specialization? Specialization is basically when you're doing a repetitive work, when you're doing a work on a repetitive basis, you become perfect. You get to know how to do the work. So you, you become the master. You become a specialist. Okay, now I talk about here. Come back. Come come to this. Let's talk about production department. Production department, the work is going on of production. Clear? Now, suppose the CEO feels that uh, the production manager is doing absolutely good work. Everything is fine. But he feels that he needs somebody else who can come and give some expert advice on some packing how to pack the products you know some expert he's an expert in quality control or he's an expert in packing or he's an expert in you know uh, how to check the quality whatever so let's suppose with the production manager he says i am appointing a packing expert now children, this packing expert will obviously interfere and give this man the instructions. The production manager obviously will feel bad that when I am managing, why do I need an expert advice? But he does not realize that his expert advice will help the organization to grow. And he has brought him only with this idea that my organization will grow. Right? So, it is his duty to have coordination between both of them. They don't fight. So, have a coordination between both of them so that the benefit of both knowledge and specialization and expertness will be used by the entire organization and the goals will be achieved. Clear? So, with this, we come to the end of this chapter. Of the, that's the first chapter. And... 
a few two three questions which i'm giving you for homework this assignment should be done let's start the first question uh okay i'm giving you more questions right management is intangible come on management is intangible come on right so you have to comment you have to comment and it, uh, give the answer right uh, assume it you give me the answer in three marks for three marks fine management is intangible now the second question i'm giving you uh, let's give i give you a five mark question coordination coordination is the essence of management five marks i just now discussed go back to the video you'll be able to get the answer coordination is the essence of management right and the third third question <clears throat> mr x this is a board question this is a board question this is a board question this is also a board question mr x is the plant superintendent superintendent of a b c limited right a part which level is he working and b part give any four functions he is performing four functions right these three questions and with this the entire chapter is over thank you